issue, and you know that it's an issue. You have a national profile. Do you, what do you think for the future sure. of this country? Is it healthy to have election deniers on the ballot? Look, the, obviously the election in 2020 was fair and square, and Biden won, and, and, and we're moving forward from that. I, I know the press likes to talk a lot about that, and, and you're right, it isn't helpful. Um, it is because it's, those issues aren't what's connecting with the average voter. So as, the more we talk about it, the more we're not connecting with folks on their level about what's important to them. So I know you're you know, celebrating. have the hearings and figure out exactly what happened. That's just. I know you're celebrating your victory tonight. There's going to be a lot of talk about whether or not you could potentially uh, run for president. I want to ask you about someone else who has said he will announce uh, next week, next Tuesday. You were asked about former President Trump announcing before Christmas and said it was a terrible idea. Why so? No. Yeah. Well, because once the dust settles on this election, you know what America wants? They want to take a break. Right? They want to get back to watching football games and enjoying Thanksgiving and do some Christmas shopping. We can get to the politics in early 23. So anyone who's thinking in, to drive a big political message right after the really insanity, I mean, the craziness of, an, of this election cycle, uh, I think is missing the opportunity and, and, and missing what, what is really important to folks. Folks want to take the break. So, And whether he announces he's running for president or not, it, it really doesn't matter. It's not going to keep anybody out of the race. It's not going to surprise anybody. Um, you know, if that secret is... Worst secret in the world if he is going to announce. So I think he'll announce. It'll be a, a, a blip on the radar, and we'll all move forward and enjoy Thanksgiving and the holidays, and we'll really get back as a nation to figuring out where the presidential stuff goes in, you know, early to mid-23. Any chance you'll run in 2024? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What was that? Any yeah, exactly. Any <laughs> no, chance you'll run? My focus, yeah. Look, my... <laughs> I'm sorry, you're, you're breaking up. I don't know. Exactly. I don't know. Exactly. No, exactly. I feel like having too much. Those so supporters in New Hampshire are so loud. I love this state. I, 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 I love New Hampshire. I know you do. I, I just said your New Hampshire voters.